they were priced at $1.50 each. I know I bought them half price, so ended up spending $2.25 for all of them. So the way I'm gonna paint these, I did something very similar in the fall with an owl from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to paint them white and they have this really cool gold and black already on them. So I'm gonna do one coat of white and let that dry. Then I'm going to get a paper towel completely wet and I'll wring it out. And then I'm gonna come back in and wet distress. Why I love doing this is this is going to bring back all the really cool detail in the owl and it's gonna look really neat. And I'm gonna do that with all three of them. Now these do have little hangers on the back where I could hang them up, but I'm just going to set them out and I think they look adorable. They're like whimsical. You can find things like this in the thrift store, but it's a great way to kind of update it. I was so excited when I came across this old accordion organizing, I, I don't I guess they're called hangers for only $3.50. These are very in right now. I have a couple in my house, so I had to pick it up. So my idea for this is I went to Walmart and I bought a wood burning tool. Now I've never used this before, so I was kind of experimenting with it on this little board. I do recommend doing that. You also have to be so careful whenever you're using this because it is super hot. So I started on one side, just kind of adding in some lines and some dots. And I did that, nothing too crazy. Then I decided to have fun and experiment. So I changed out the tool and added this little teardrop shape, which I thought was pretty cool. In the end, I think this turned out really cool. It's super subtle, but I think it looks great. So you guys know that I can't pass up a really good vase. I found this one. This one was $5 half price, so it was $2.50. And the thing I really liked about this vase is it already has like really cool texture, plus it's a really fun shape. So what I decided to do with this one was spray paint it a combination of a flat black and also like a gray color. So I kind of just intermix the two colors. Now with this spray paint, I really wasn't even that concerned that it covered it completely. I kind of like how it's not perfect and it's kind of has that multicolor look. And I think in the end it turned out great. I'm loving this lamp right here. Look at the base of that one. The shade looks to be like perfect. And I definitely could update the base of this. Now they do have two, but hmm, do I get both? I don't know. I may only need one of them. Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get just one. I think this one's the better one. So I'm gonna grab this one. Ooh, I'm excited about this one. So this lamp definitely was reminding me of a shape I saw of a lamp on the Anthropology website. So I wanted to give it kind of a more neutral, natural look. So I came in with a tan flat spray paint and I'm just gonna be spray painting the top half of the lamp. Next, I'm gonna take a piece of shelf liner because it's something I had laying around and I'm gonna dab the brown and caramel color all over the top half of this lampshade. And I'm trying to make it look really textured and wood-like. Thank you. 
Next, I'm going to come in with Waverly White Chalk Paint, and I'm gonna paint the bottom half. Now I'm going to take a Dollar Tree sack, and this is kind of like an older technique. I'm gonna dab the paint on with the Dollar Tree sack just to make kind of a fun transition between the two colors. I'm also going to spray paint the top of this lamp white, and then I'll put it back together. And here's a look at how this lamp turned out. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.